Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be making Cincinnati chili. Now up in Ohio, where we live six months out of the year, you will see a Skyline restaurant just about everywhere you look. And we even have one just down the street from our house. And Skyline chili also happens to be the official chili for the Cincinnati Bengals. It's made with several non-traditional ingredients, very different than your Texas chili, but it's absolutely hearty and very easy to prepare. And you can serve it five different ways. And today I'm gonna show you how I make it step by step. Let's get started. Now I'm gonna be making my Cincinnati chili in this pot. And I've got five cups of water in this pot. And as you can see, it's coming up to a boil. And it's at this time that I'm gonna add my ground chuck. I have two pounds of ground chuck right here. And this is 8515, see? Now it's very tempting to wanna brown your ground beef first, but this is just how you make it. You add it into your hot water, just like this. Now I'm just gonna move it around until it all breaks up and it's real nice and smooth. You don't want big chunks of ground beef in here because this is not Texas chili. Now you're gonna stir it and you're gonna move it around until it all breaks up. Now it doesn't look very appetizing, but believe me, it's gonna be delicious at the end. Just have a little patience, just like this. Now, as you can see, everything's come up to a boil and my ground beef is broken up really nicely in here. I'm gonna remove all this protein that's forming up here at the top, but otherwise your chili will be real murky. You don't want this protein up here. So just skim it off, just like this. So now that I have skimmed off all the protein from my pot and I have lowered the temperature to a low simmer, I'm gonna pass this tomato sauce through this skillet because I wanna get it a little toasty before I add it into the pot. It takes on a totally different flavor. I'm gonna add two cans of tomato sauce into this skillet. These are eight ounces. And I'm also gonna add three teaspoons of tomato paste. See, three teaspoons of tomato paste in here. Now, as you can see, it's starting to boil and that's what I want. Now I'm just gonna move it around like this until it gets a little bit toasty. I wanna make sure that my tomato paste is very well dissolved and incorporated really well in here with the tomato sauce for just a couple of minutes. So it's been about two minutes and my tomato sauce and tomato paste are giving off a beautiful aroma. Now I'm gonna turn my heat off and I'm gonna add this into my pot. Very good. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I have two cups of finely chopped onions right here. I have half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You want a little heat in here, or you can use pepper flakes if you want. I have one large bay leaf. I have three large garlic cloves and they're finely crushed. I'm gonna put them in here. One teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. Now I have two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon of ground cumin. one teaspoon of paprika, I have three tablespoons of my homemade chili powder, I have one eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, I have half a teaspoon of ground cloves, this is freshly ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground allspice. I have one ounce of freshly grated unsweetened chocolate right here. Now, if we can use freshly ground unsweetened chocolate in our mole sauce, we can use it in our chili. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna add some pepper. You can add as much pepper as you want. 
I'm gonna add some salt. I'll add some right now and then I'll add some a little bit later if it needs it. And I have three fourths of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I may add just a little bit more later, but that's what I'm gonna add right now because that's gonna give it just a little bit of that zing that we want in here. Now I'm gonna stir it all up together like this. Now I have one last ingredient, but I'm not gonna add it in here until the very end because I do want it to be real fresh and I want for you to pick up on it at the very end. I'm gonna let it simmer like this on low for one hour. Every now and then you wanna come in here and you wanna give it a nice stir just like this, okay? I'll see you in one hour. So it's been exactly one hour. My timer just went off and it's been on simmer all this time. Now I've got my last ingredient. I've got two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna add them in here. This is what's gonna give it that unique flavor that we're looking for, see? So I'm gonna stir it in here really, really well like this. So I've stirred my cinnamon really good like this and it's very well incorporated in here. I'm gonna let it continue simmering for 15 or 20 minutes. Now while my chili simmers for 15 or 20 minutes, I've got some boiling water right here in this pot and I'm gonna prepare my spaghetti. So my spaghetti is ready and I'm ready to put my chili together. Now there are five different ways of serving your chili. The first way is just a bowl of chili. That's the first way. Now the second way is with our spaghetti and our chili. You can serve it on any kind of plate that you want. Just like this. Now I'm gonna top it with my chili. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Now that's the two way. Now with a three way, you're gonna have the spaghetti, the chili, and then you can top it with either onions or your red kidney beans. I like them both. So I'm gonna put some onions up here on the top and these are raw onions, yellow onions, see? Now I'm gonna add my red kidney beans. Right on top like this, just like that. Now the fifth way is with the cheese on top. Now you wanna top it with plenty of cheese up here on top. Now many people like to top it with oyster crackers. You can put just a few on top like this. This is how I like it. And then with hot sauce. Give it that nice kick. Mm-hmm. Now we're ready for the taste test. A Little bit of everything, right on the fork. Oh man, this is so good. Mmm. This is absolutely wonderful. So this is my Cincinnati chili. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.